Currently, most robot tasks revolve around directly manipulating a single object. However, there is a strong need to model complex object interactions and devise algorithms to efficiently learn such models from demonstration. Consider a person driving a car. The person is directly interacting with the steering wheel. However, a robot that focuses exclusively on the steering wheel would fail to learn the task. It also needs a model of how the steering wheel controls the car. Therefore, we see a two-layer interaction structure in this scenario. A model effectively learning the skill would explicitly model the state of the steering wheel as an intermediate object between the robot and the car. Specifically, we model each object, including the robot, as a Markov decision process. One object affecting another is modeled by coupling the two corresponding Markov decision processes, with the state of the affecting object being the action of the affected object. Each interaction is learned separately. During control, the transition function of the Markov decision processes are successively inverted to find the robot action that will lead to desired behavior for an object higher up in the chain. In our first experiment, the robot needs to control a car in a video game using a joystick. It learns how to interact with the joystick by physically playing with it and observing the relationship between hand position and joystick axis value. It learns how joystick controls the car by watching a human playing the game. After learning, we have the robot control the car to follow several challenging trajectories. All trajectories are followed very accurately, and the average error is. About one pixel on an 800 by 600 game screen. Through the recursive application of the inverse transition function, the robot is indirectly controlling the car via its manipulation of the joystick. Now we extend the model so that interactions are not organized in a chain. Consider using a water dispenser to heat water. The robot can press its power button and dispense button. It can also move the cup and pour water from the cup to the water tank on top of the dispenser. A graph is more suitable to model this scenario than a chain because some interactions, such as power button pressing and dispense button pressing, are parallel. In addition, only some interactions are active at a time. For example, the hand is not interacting with the cup when it is far from it. Thus, the robot should also learn a classifier for each interaction that predicts when the interaction is active and how to activate it. In the learning phase, the robot is teleoperated through a set of different skills, such as pouring water and pressing a button. These skills are demonstrated individually. In the execution phase, the robot needs to turn a cup of cold water to a cup of hot water. As we can see, after learning each interaction, our control algorithm can pick out relevant skills and order them correctly to achieve the goal using both activation classifiers and inverse transition functions. Specifically, it first interacts with the cup by pouring the water into the water tank, thereby activating the interaction between the cup and the water tank. Second, it presses the power button, which causes the water in the tank to heat. After putting the cup below the dispenser, which allows the dispenser to influence the cup, the robot presses the dispense button and fills the cup with water. Notice that the interaction between the cup and the tank changes direction during filling. Finally. It interacts with the cup again to retrieve it from under the dispenser. Our model can very flexibly account for a wide variety of interactions. For example, it expresses the concept of tool usage, which is an important characteristic of human activity and is essential in scenarios involving most electric appliances, such as oven and air conditioner, manual assembly tasks involving screwdriver and wrench, and other common control mechanisms such as switches and buttons. Our model serves as a first step to making robot more intelligent and versatile in everyday human environments.